Okay, so this quick lesson is going to be about setting up Inkscape specifically around uh, the settings that we want for spawning a golf course. So let's go into Inkscape, and this is going to be pretty quick, and you only have to do this once um, unless you reinstall Inkscape later on. So we have our, our base Inkscape drawing, and it's got our Google and our Bing satellite images, and that's it. The first thing we want to do is we want to turn auto snapping off. It's going to get us in a little bit of problem. So, so up here, there's this little arrow, and you see this enable snapping. We just want to turn that off. It's going to allow us to be a little bit more precise because it's not going to force our cursor to uh, link to a particular area or a portion of the grid, and it's going to help us prevent some double nodes. So just I would recommend that you disable snapping. The second thing is a lot of settings are going to be up here in Edit, Preferences, and let's take a look at some of the things in here. The first one being if we go to this Input Output and we expand this and we go down here to Auto Save. We want to enable autosave for about every 10 minutes and the max of 10 autosaves. And you can either make a note of where that default directory is, or you can change this to something. I did change it so it's an easier place to find. Where this comes in handy, and if you enable this, as you're working every 10 minutes, it's going to save a backup of your file into that directory. So if something happens and Inkscape crashes before you're able to save what you're working for, you can always go back into this directory and recover uh, that file. And you've only lost the last 10 minutes. I've had to use this occasionally, not too often, but it's definitely nice to have. So I'd highly recommend you enabling that. Um, the second thing we wanna look at is under here, under tools and our pen, Let's change this to last style used. So what that's going to do is when we draw with our pen, and every time we draw with a pen, remember we get that stroke outline. Well now, instead of remembering, and I'm going to show you this in a second, now instead of drawing a stroke every time, it's going to draw the last style that you used. And that'll make more sense in a second. Before we do that though, let's go to one last setting inside of preferences which is we want to go down here to behavior and we want to go to steps. And you can see this input uh, inset offset by, and it's currently set to two pixels. I like to change this to millimeters and then change it to 0.5. If you recall earlier, okay, um, that we created our and scaled our imagery and our canvas and we change it to millimeters and I said one millimeter equals one meter. If I change this inset outset to 0.5, that means every time I draw something and I inset or outset it, it's going to go in half a meter or out half a meter. It's going to come in very handy when I'm creating semi-rough um, uh, copies of a fairway or or copies of a green and I want to outset that to do a semi, I know exactly every time I do that, it's half a meter. If you want to do it by quarter of a meter, that's fine, or full meter, that's fine. I like a half a meter and it comes in very handy. So let's go show you a couple of these in practice. And I'm just going to zoom in here and we're just going to draw some arbitrary shapes. Let me go down to my pen tool and make sure we're on B spline. And I'm just going to draw something here. And because we're in the defaults, very deliberate, click, finish. So I got this black shape here and let's go up and I've got, so let me enable the fill to be like a sand thing here. And I'm gonna turn off the stroke. So no stroke. And um, now when I draw another shape here, it's the same thing. So if I want to draw a lot of bunkers, for instance, this comes in handy. Well, let me just change this to brown. Now when I draw my next shape, very deliberate, it's brown. So that comes in really handy. Now also, if I path, outset, I just outset that by half a meter. If I do it again, it's now a full meter. So that comes in handy and gives you an idea in your head how much you're outsetting things by. All right. So on to the next lesson where we are actually going to spline real things on our golf course.